Uh, feels good. Feels good. It was definitely a goal that um, I had with the offensive line is each and every game get over, get a running back over 100 yards. So I'm glad, grateful that we were able to accomplish that as a team. Um, the all line did a great job blocking for me and opening up holes for me. And um, the offensive coaches did a great job of calling the right plays in the right situations. And I just went out there, did my job, executed. So it was a great um, collective effort as far as how we performed offensively. How about the first touchdown? Felt good. Felt, felt really good. You know, so I mean, first one being in the woodshed, being in two minute mode. Um, it, it was great, you know, like I said, that's just a testament to how well our offense is good when we execute, you know, and um, that's the best we can put on the field, and I'm just excited that I was able to finish it off. How about just how you and Jalen were able to complement each other, kind of different styles and whatnot, but just play off each other today? Yeah, I mean, not only with me and Jalen, but just with other running backs, you know, there we have so many bats that can do so many different things, and it's versatile, so it's hard for defenses to be able to really match us, you know, because we have a lot of running backs who do a lot of things, so it was great playing with Jalen and watching him work and watching him score, and just all all the running backs as well, watching them perform for to help our team win also. It was, it was a great collective effort for all of us. No, not yet. So, kind of walk through that. How big was that hole for you? Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, no doubt. He said we, we knew that we I knew the first play we were gonna run. Um, we've been running that all week. You know, we knew what we were gonna come out with, and I knew that that cut was gonna be there. Um, it was like I said, the off office line did a great job executing, and when I saw the hole, I just just ran for it, you know. And you know, obviously, you would love to see me finish that play in the end zone, but like I said, those are one of the things I gotta continue to work on, and uh, just go from there. But it was a great job, like I said, just like I said, when, when all the offense are doing their job, um, we execute very, very well. We can make plays like that. What changed in that first quarter after that? You guys kind of stagnated. You had the four and one you get, and then what changed the other way again when you started getting the ball? Yeah, it goes, it goes back to execution. You know, we started off slow, and I think everyone could, could, could tell that we started off a little bit slow offensively. And then our, our um, halftime, I mean, we came in, it was like, hey, we, we know what we got to do. We have players, we got the plays, we know what we got to do. And we just got to go out there and execute. And that's what we did in the second half, which was much easier for us to move the ball. And defense did a great job getting them off the field, um, getting us a chance to be able to go out there and score. So it was a club effort of all, all, everybody on all sides of the ball executing like we should. How about just your first game here, a little bit different than UConn? Yeah, yeah, it, it was breathtaking. You know, I will say that I definitely got emotional running out there in that tunnel and seeing 75,000 uh, people there. You know, it was just, it was a blessing, you know, to come from a school like UConn, um, independent school, and then to go from the Big Ten and be able to perform the way that I did. Um, something about God. I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed. And uh, I just want to continue to keep going, continue to keep executing performance so we can see it keep getting wins. Is that the biggest crowd you played in front of? Uh, yeah, I played a team down the road last year away when I was at UConn, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Like I said, he, he's a he's a leader. He's a leader of our offense. Um, and when we look towards him, when things are going wrong, um, and like I said, when when we were not executing the way that we should, he was coming back to sidelines and picking us up, picking us up, picking us up, motivating us, encouraging us. At halftime, he was doing the same thing, motivating us, encouraging us. You never see Noah with his head down. You never see him um, get discouraged. You know, he was always um, picking us up and uplifting. That's the type of leader that we need for this team. That's the type of leader that he is. And he's a very smart player. So making those quick decisions on the field, being able to read the defenses, are something that he can do, and it helps us be better football team offensively. What do you think changed for him in terms of his passes? Because there were some. Yeah, like I said, he's just a very confident player. And like I said, in the game of football, everyone's going to make mistakes. Everyone's going to miss reads, miss holes, miss runs, miss tackles, things like that. So you just got to never get too high, never get too low, come to a mindset. You know, um, and that's what Noah did. You know, he, he knew that what he can do, we all know what Noah could do. And that's why he's our quarterback right now. You know, he's been a great job all camp of just helping us. And really, um, he was a big uh, proponent to while we were successful in this game today of leading the offense. So um, he, he's just a, a great leader, a great man. And um, it's fun to be able to run right alongside of him. Was there a point where you felt like the run game operation was clicking? Like, wasn't just like big runs by you or whatever, but where everyone was working together? 
Yeah, yeah, especially game. especially in the second half, you know. Um, not everyone's going to be a home run touchdown. You know, you got to break one. You got to get the dirty fours, the dirty fives, the dirty threes. And then that's when the big ones are going to run. That's when the big ones are going to break. So you see it throughout the second half, you have people grinding out those tough yards. And uh, the receivers did a great job blocking the outside. Like I said, the old line did a great job blocking as well, which allowed us as running backs to be able to do our job. And once we continue to grind out those tough yards, now we're able to open up everything else, like our passing game and make those explosive plays that we need to. You said you were emotional. Yeah. Uh, man, just, 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 under, just taking it all in, I should say. You know, taking it all in, you know, um, being blessed to be here. You know, um, like I said, this life is short and you don't play this game forever. And I want to take advantage of me being here. I'm a Michigan State football player, being playing at the woodshed. Not a lot of people can say that, you know. Um, so it, me and this running out of the town, I was just, I was just taking it all in, um, and just really truly understanding how big of a blessing I am to be here right now. Even to be here standing and talking with you guys, you know, it's a huge blessing. I don't want to take that for granted. When you broke that first run, was there anything you think for a minute this could go all the way, or did you know where the defense is? Uh, I mean, that was my mindset. Yeah, yeah, going, it's going all the way. But once, uh, once I felt, you know, the two defenders come up, I was like, okay, I gotta, you know, protect the ball, and make sure that they don't try to strip me behind. But like I said, it was a great. I mean, way to start the game, you know, with, with, a, with a rush like that, you know, it was great. It was a great feeling. So we gotta continue to do that, continue to execute, and continue to finish in the end zone. Yeah, and the short yard stuff. I see at the end zone the touchdown. We had a couple that didn't, didn't go. I'm wondering what, what happened on those plays. You kind of remember. Yeah, I take responsibility for that. You know. Um, Definitely, um, as a running back, we gotta be able to in those fourth and one, uh, fourth down short, and third down short plays. We gotta be able to go and get those things, you know. Um, and like I said, I have to be able to continue to trust offensive line and Coach Austin has to trust me to do my job. So it's an all collective effort of executing, and um, you know I gotta continue to work on you know getting those tough yards and getting those first downs by any means necessary. You know that's what we pride ourselves in the running back room. No matter what happens, when it's fourth and short, when it's third and short, we gotta get those yards. So. How much is this game of feeling out for us? process for the offense. I mean, obviously, you know, making his first start. I mean, it's your, your debut at MSU. You've got the drum, you know, some new receivers uh, being integrated in. I mean, how much of this kind of, as you were playing the game, you are kind of feeling things out yourself. Yeah, like I said, we we all of our offense were uh, working so hard to be able to execute and be able to come out here and perform. Um, like I said, we have a lot of guys that haven't played football, you know, in in this capacity. But we also have a lot of great players, and I believe you guys saw that tonight of how many players on different, not just me, but wide receivers making plays, tight ends making plays, uh, and uh, on quarterbacks making plays. So we have a lot of great players offensively. And we have to continue just to continue to improve each and every day. And like I said, when we go into practice on Monday and watch the film, and we get back to the drawing boards, we continue to work, we continue to get better as our offense. And that's our goal each and every week to get better and better and better than the game before. How valuable was it to see success on that second to final drive in the first half when you scored the touchdown? I mean, like just to just to kind of punch it in and, and get on the board. Yeah, it, it was great. You know, we had two huge catches. Um, that, that really set us up for that, like I said. So, and then I was able to finish it off, and the O-line did a great job blocking. And uh, um, it was a collective effort, you know, especially um, end of the half, two-minute mode, you know, you got to make points where you got to get yards quick. And we have players that made plays, which is what we need. So it's a testament to how great our offense is and how we're going to continue to improve each and every day. They yeah. obviously just scored. Was there a sense of urgency, I guess, in that, in that moment? Yeah, uh, most of, definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Like I said, the, the, you could tell that the momentum shift a little bit. We knew as often, hey, we got we got to pick it up. We got to get this done. Like I said, we were in two-minute mode. We had to score quick. We knew how to score quick. And we did a great job executing. The coaches made a great job calling the right plays in the right situations. And when that happens, we uh, were successful and we got the ball in the end zone. Sometimes when you're playing fast and loose in those situations, it's, sometimes it's the when the flow starts happening with the offense. I mean, did you get the sense that just because of the situation you had to kind of press the tempo that, you know, things kind of took care of themselves? In that sense? I mean, we, we've practiced these game situations and practice since fall camp. You know, Coach Tuck and all the coaches did a great job of putting us in these situations. So when we came here and performed, it wasn't like it was new to us. Like, because we did it a thousand, thousand, thousand times getting in practice, which is why I practiced so hard for us so that the game's easy. So when we got come out here and execute it, we know what we can do. We knew we could put the points on the board. We knew we could move the ball down the field fast because we practiced that so many times. Did your touchdown? How good was it to see it blocked up like that with a tight end and the wide receiver getting blocked in the middle? Yeah, it was great. It was great. Like I said, it's a great feeling to, to know that when everyone else does their job, when everyone else executes, and I'm able to do my job and execute, you know, and, and that's that's what we uh, pride ourselves on. Just, being disciplined, being able to do our job. And um, once we do that, we will be very successful in what we do. Trey was talking about being able to kind of fight through adversity and getting to have that experience over the course of this game. I mean, can you talk about 
talk about how valuable that was uh, for the team to be able to experience it and, of course, come out with the victory. Yeah, yeah most definitely. You know, throughout this entire season, we're going to face adversity. You know, throughout this entire season, it's going to be close games. It may be games that were down when we got to pick the we got to pick the points up. Um, so adversity is inevitable. You know, we're going to have adversity, but the way that we fought, just like you said, fought back. We came back, collected ourselves in the second half. No one was pointing fingers. We all knew what we could do. We were all we were all encouraging each other in the locker room, and then we went out. And we executed. So that's a te testament to our mental toughness and how Coach Tuck has really led us um, to really build into that. And we just got to continue to carry that forward because adversity is going to come, but the way we handle it is what really matters. Did you have any nerves going into the first game as Michigan State Spartan? And if so, did that run help? Uh, first I wouldn't say I had nerves. I, I feel like I was very prepared. I feel like Coach Reed and offensive coaches and Coach Tucker uh, really prepared us as a team to be able to go out there and perform. Um, so it wasn't really nerves. It was, it was I was prepared um, for, for everything that was thrown at me. So. I think he handled himself very well. You know, it's a testament to who he is as a man. You know, like I said, he's a calm, cool, collective guy. He never gets too high, never gets too low. That's his mindset. So when we have a leader that has that mindset, it's easier for us to be able to follow that. And uh, I think he composed himself very, very well, and he did a great job today of helping our team uh, win. Thank you, guys.